If you're not working to your financial freedom with a website or some other online income source, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. By the end of this video, you'll have a plan for creating monthly income from three of the best ways to make money from a website. In fact, one of these income sources takes less than two weeks to create and will produce thousands in passive cash flow every single year. We're talking making money online today on Let's Talk Money. Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money YouTube channel where we're creating the financial future you deserve. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the community. Thank you for taking a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now listen, I know how it is. After I got out of the Marine Corps, I got a job in corporate finance and absolutely hated it. I hated it, but I thought that's just what life was. You know, you put in your 40 hours a week, you're miserable, but you do it to buy stuff like jet skis to make your life just a little less miserable. Then I started learning how to make money online with a website and it has completely turned my life around. Maybe it's a sick joke or a curse, but I work more hours now than I ever did at a nine to five. I'm happier and I make even more money doing it. So today I wanted to share with you three ways to make money from a website that we haven't talked about yet here on the channel. Three strategies you can use for a full-time work from home income or just as a side hustle to make extra cash. Now this isn't some get rich quick video and I'm not trying to sign you up for some crap MLM scam. These strategies I'll lay out are still work, but you can set up a simple website and set these up in your spare time to produce some amazing monthly income. And that's what I've done. In just a few years, I've used these strategies to grow my websites to income over 7,000 a month. It's been work and there's a lot to learn to do it, but it is possible. And that's all part of what we'll talk about here on the channel. In fact, the three strategies we'll talk about today are just a few of the nine I use to make money online. I put all nine into make money blogging a step by step to each strategy from how much you can expect to make to setting everything up. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below if you're serious about making money from home or from a website. This video is going to be a little longer than most because I really want to share the details into three of these strategies. I'm going to show you how much you can make, how to get started and how to decide which strategy is right for you but you might decide you want to incorporate a little of all three to really jumpstart your income. In fact, the third method we'll talk about can make monthly recurring income in the thousands alone. So stick around for that one because it's one of my favorite online income sources. I want to start with one of the easiest and fastest ways to make money from a website and one that surprisingly few people are using. Now, if you followed the channel, you know, I'm a huge fan of self publishing. I make just under two grand a month off 10 books and it's probably the most passive income source I've found online. It takes me from two to three months to develop and publish a book when I'm working on one. But there's another related source of income that can make you just as much money and take less than a couple of weeks to develop and that's selling printables on your website. Now printables are really just shorter form books, anything from a one page checklist to a mini guide of 20 or 30 pages. Now, because printables are shorter, it opens up a whole new area you can monetize with your website. The majority of your website traffic is going to be from a handful of posts, usually ones that have ranked highly on Google for some specific keywords. So you're getting this very targeted reader from Google looking for the answer to a very specific question. Now you can try to offer something else, maybe a lead magnet to get that person on your email list. Maybe you can drop in some related affiliate products in the post to make a little money, but the sorry truth is that the majority of your traffic from 60 to 80% is going to leave your website after that first page. Now that means you need to convert those readers fast and you need to do it with something very highly targeted to them. This is where printables are absolutely perfect. You can create a checklist, a plan or some small guide around the exact question those readers were looking for on Google. Sure, your articles might have helped them answer a small part of the question, but they're going to have related questions. Why not offer them a complete plan on that topic? So you take a week or so to plan and write out this short guide, maybe five to 10 pages max. Save it as a PDF and update your post with a couple of paragraphs about the guide. All that's left to do is add a shopping cart to your website with something like Shopify or Sendowl so people can buy your printable with one click. Now printables don't need to be that traditional idea of a one page checklist. 
For example, you can create downloadable spreadsheets, workbooks, DIY designs, coloring books, even audio or video files that can be downloaded. We talked about ebook pricing in a prior video and it applies here to printables as well with the best price between $3.99 to $5.99 for that perfect mix of volume and the income. The best part about this strategy is that you don't have to do any marketing. Those posts on your website are already drawing traffic from Google, so now you're just monetizing it. You can create a few banner images to advertise your printables on other parts of your blog, but it's really not necessary. Those printables are hyper-targeted to the specific traffic for that one post. I have two posts with printables made specifically for those posts and average over 150 a month on each of those. The posts don't even get that much traffic, but the printables speak directly to the need that brought those people to the site, so they sell really well. And remember, it took less than a couple of weeks to make those printables that make 150 each every single month. Our next strategy to make money from a website is through consulting or online coaching. Now, I hate trading time for money. Build your business around this trade-off and you're always going to be limited on how much you can make. That said, consulting makes a ton of money and it's a tool in the income toolbox of just about everyone I know. While I would say try evolving your business to other sources like courses and products over time, starting with consulting is going to give you that fast income to be successful. So Payscale lists the median hourly rate for life coaches at about $34 an hour, but that's kind of on the low end of the scale and way lower than what some other types of coaches or consultants make. Most of the consultants I know charge between $50 an hour to a maximum of $200 an hour, but even that minimum means a six-figure annual salary. Now, I'm going to give you a strategy for multiplying your income and help you find ideas for what you can coach next, but I want to stay on pricing for one last important note. Don't charge by the hour. If you're charging by the hour, you're setting yourself up for failure. First, because hourly rates just sound expensive. Most people aren't going to pay $150 an hour for coaching, but tell them how you'll change their life and they'll gladly hand over $500 or more. People don't pay for consulting. They pay for you to fix their problems. Another reason, though, is that hourly rates put you in competition with every cheap scammer and worthless hack out there. You're going to be competing with anyone with an internet connection, people that are just fine living off $10 an hour. Tell people how you will change their life, the results they can expect, and then charge for that. Charge for that priceless improvement that you can bring someone. Now, finding something to coach is actually the easy part. Take five minutes to browse through the video courses on Udemy and tell me you can't coach anything. Let me just read you a few of the courses people sell. You know, stuff like Rubik's Cube, simple and quick ways to solve it. Parking, reversing, and low speed driving clairvoyant aura reading for beginners. These are all actual courses that people make money on. So your coaching idea comes from your main website topic, but should solve a distinct problem. Remember, people don't want to learn about your great new technique or really learn about anything. They want to solve a problem or they want to transform their lives. Once you have an idea of what you want to do, that's really the groundwork, but there are a few ideas you can use to really automate the process and earn more for your time. That's really what I want to talk about here because it's going to mean the difference between grinding away and making a lot of money on your website. First, you want to think about ways you can automate your consulting business. Even if you're doing one-on-one -on -one consulting, there are still going to be ways to make it easier. First, you want to create all the worksheets and guides you'll use to teach the process. You can also create a video for each consulting session to use that as a supplement. The idea here is that while every client may be unique, there will be things that every client is going to need. Things you can package as a workbook or a video to produce once and then use them every single time. You also want to create a reference resource for the most common questions you get so you can easily and quickly refer back to those while talking to clients. Our last way to make money from a website is going to be taking that consulting idea to the next level. Now this is where you create a membership site charging on a monthly or yearly basis. I've seen a lot of bloggers switch into this model and have done very well. The idea is that you still create some content for your website, free information to bring people from Google and social media, but then you put your courses and other content behind a membership access. Members can pay monthly or annually for access to all that extra information. 
So not only is this a great way to make money on your information, but it can really grow into a huge monthly income stream as you get more people paying every month. Now, Chris Ducker has done an amazing job of this with his Upreneur membership site. He charges $59 a month or just over 500 a year for an annual membership. Now you can look at some of the things he offers behind the membership access to get an idea of some of those types that you can offer. First, he's got his 12 part course and access to a forum of members. Now forums are really popular on membership sites because you get all your members helping to answer questions so you don't have to do everything. A forum also creates a sense of community and that sense of belonging to the group that is super important when you're trying to get people to pay month after month. Chris also has a library of content available to members. Now you can make these like blog posts that you release every week or more like longer form books. Now a great way to run your membership site or consulting is through mastermind groups. Now this is just a weekly or bi-weekly meeting, usually online through something like Google Hangouts or Skype, uh, where you, instead of one-on-one -on -one conversations, you meet with a group. You're gonna be leading the conversation, but everyone gets a chance to talk about their challenges and success stories. It's a great way to help lots of clients at once, plus it helps build that sense of community we were talking about. He's got some other items here as well, and this is an important marketing idea. It's always good to have some kind of bonus items you're offering. Even if these are things you wanted to offer, marking them as special bonuses makes people think they're getting something extra for free. Now there's more than one way to make money on memberships than just this content kind of site. If you can create software like an app or something, then people will pay to use that every month. Either way, it's always best to have some kind of live interaction or community building each month to really build that sense of belonging. Setting up your membership site is actually extremely easy with a plugin called Member Mouse, which I like because it's a monthly subscription so you don't have that big upfront fee in creating a membership site. Basically, you just download the Member Mouse plugin on your site and it's gonna give you everything you want to do, including time release content, so people just don't pay for a month and leave. You can do trial offers and coupons as well as upselling different membership levels. So I'll leave a link to the Member Mouse plugin below in the video description. Once you have the plugin, it's really easy to get started. You'll add content and plan out your membership levels and the plugin is just gonna do the rest. A few strategies or tips here to make your membership site a success. Remember, the best membership sites have a strong sense of community and interaction. If you can give your members that sense of belonging, then they'll keep paying every month just to be part of that community. One way to do this, besides those mastermind meetings and a forum on the site, is through challenges. These are gonna be something like a monthly or quarterly challenge where you propose a topic or something measurable to reach and then guide the conversation around it. Get people to work in teams outside with presentations and conversations helping each other meet those challenges. Small prizes can help incentivize people to participate and the interaction is really gonna help build that sense of community among members. You might also consider recruiting a few influencers or people with larger audiences in the niche to join your membership site for free. This works on two levels really. Not only might they share the idea with their community online, but you can also use it as a selling point to other members. Something like, look, you know, this guy is a part of the community. If it's good enough for him, it must be a great site. These are three great ways to make money off a website, but I have to bring you back to the idea of diversifying your income. You can make a lot of money on any of these, but that real financial freedom comes from combining different income sources into reliable cash flow every single month. And that's where that book, Make Money Blogging, comes in. Not only do I go into deeper detail on exactly how to set up printables, consulting, and membership sites, but every chapter is a step-by-step -step into one of those nine ways to make money online. I'll leave a link to the book in the video description below. Check it out, check out the reviews for more than 2,000 readers. Join us in the Let's Talk Money community by clicking on that subscribe button. We're here Mondays and Wednesdays with the best videos on beating debt, making more money, and making your money work for you. If you've got a question about money, just scroll down and ask it in the comments. I'll make sure you get an answer in a future video.